here we are at the Door County Ice Cream Factory, located in the northern end of Sister Bay on Highway 42. I'm with owner Todd Frizzoni. Todd, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, John? Doing fabulous. Now, you guys make all your own ice cream right here on site, do you not? We do. Every flavor. We make about 45, and there's 29 in the case at any given time. Oh, and today, what we're going to be doing is checking out how you guys make all that good stuff, correct? Sounds good. Yeah, we'll be glad to show you. All right, let's do it. So the way we make our ice cream is we start with the mix. In this case, we use a 15% ice cream mix. It has a high butter fat content, makes for a nice creamy ice cream. We're gonna add a bag and a half of mix into the machine. And then depending on the flavor of ice cream that we're making, some ingredients go in the machine and get mixed in and others get mixed out of the machine. In this case, today we're gonna to be making pralines and cream. So we're gonna add a bag and a half of mix into the machine. I will then add our four-fold vanilla extract. That'll go into the machine. The machine's gonna run for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna add the next ingredients. So right now I'm going to get my pail ready. One of the other things that we do here at the ice cream factory that we just started a few years ago is we make our own waffle cones. And that's another thing that uh, people come back again and again for our homemade waffle cones. We'll be waiting here uh, 10 minutes and uh, then we'll be adding the pralines here, which we have, and uh, as well as our caramel. One of the neat things about the Door County Ice Cream Factory is that they make their ice cream with a couple of windows facing right where people walk in. So you can watch them make the ice cream that you're going to be eating here in just a little bit. So at this point, the ice cream has been mixing for 10 minutes. And now I'm going to go ahead and add our pralines and caramel and mix it in by hand. When it's mixed, the ice cream gets covered and put into a special blast freezer for 24 hours before being served or moved to a storage freezer. The blast freezer will freeze the ice cream at 30 below and it freezes it quickly and that's what basically slows down all the enzyme activity so it's gonna be stable in a frozen state for a long period of time. That's basically the big difference between ice cream and custard is that custard is made and then needs to be consumed right away because it's kept at a warmer temperature. Whereas the ice cream when blast frozen is stable then at a cold temperature for basically indefinitely. That is how we make ice cream here at the Door County Ice Cream Factory. In addition to ice cream treats, they also have a wide ranging casual menu for lunch and dinner, including subs, sandwiches, soups, salads, and pizza. For the adventurous, try their signature cornucopia, a 16-scoop ice cream meal complete with your choice of toppings, whipped cream, and cherries on top. Well, the pralines and cream is all finished, and here we are at the ice cream counter, and I'm looking to get myself a cone of that good yummy stuff, so uh, one pralines and cream with a waffle cone, please. Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Enjoy. Look at that. Well, that's delicious. Well, here we are enjoying our ice cream. And Todd, I want to say thank you very much for giving us a little tour of the ice cream factory today. Talk to us a little bit about your hours and, uh, and when people can get here and check this stuff out themselves. Well, we're open daily in the summer. And uh, you can check our website for our winter hours. And uh, I'm just happy that we're uh, able to enjoy a cone. It's one of the perks of being an owner here. I can enjoy a cone whenever I like. So thanks Absolutely. for stopping by. You're welcome. And you guys, it's the Door County Ice Cream Factory located in the north end of Sister Bay, right along Highway 42. Todd, cheers. Cheers. See you next time.